My Gavanan Melonin, and well met indeed. I'm Arake Galadurathan, and welcome back to Middle Earth as we continue on as the Reunited Kingdom. Now, you've all given your thoughts and your votes and your decisions, and I have chosen what I like the most. Moranan, no, we're going to call the Black Gate. I liked this iteration. Well, it's not strictly speaking accurate in terms of sentence structure, but we're going to call it Fengador. Fengador literally means door slash threshold, and then it kind of leans more towards dungeon than prison. So it kind of means door of the prison, or prison gate. But in truth, it literally means door prison. Um, some Sindarin words do allow context to create a saying. So um, in truth, it should be fen igador, door of the prison. But that's a little bit sort of air, eh, isn't it? That doesn't sound right to the ear. Who says door of the prison? You need to go through the door of the prison. You just need to say, you need to go through the prison's door. It's how we, I, I don't know. But anyway, Fengador sounds cool, so um, that's going to win. Um, so, Prison Gate, because as many of you pointed out, and that was a theme common in a lot of the comments, actually, we are, in essence, building Mordor's prison. Yes, ma'am. Um, and this is indeed the gate of that. I think I called it the King's Gate in the Arda Naim campaign as well, so I, I veered away from that this time. Also, someone mentioned that actually Denethor gives Minas Tirith a near 1,000 gold boost by being in it. So I'm probably going to actually send him back after immediately sending him out. <laughs> but otherwise, I think we're at an end turn at the moment. We've taken the gate. We are still besieging what is now the fort of Kirith Ungol, just because I wanted to try and trap Mordor there longer. We're going to take Gelebrin down, and then I don't know what we're going to do, because Mordor are massing vast armies, and they don't have any other enemies who can actually help us, because annoyingly, Cand is with them. So I am their only enemy. So it is going to be a slog against Mordor, I am afraid. Your orders, we beat Cand back over the river, and we are pushing into Isengard, which is where the next interesting yes, um, suggestion yes, comes about, and I'm Your all for orders, this. We are going to take um, Eisen Run. And then we're going to trade Eisenrun, Derweth, and Gund to Enid Wythe for Matrith and for Argond, so that we swap these basically useless regions in the back of nowhere. We're going to swap them for regions that help us. And it also takes Enid Wythe away from Bree, so hopefully they'll be in favour. Now, we might need to do a three for two trade. They might not like it otherwise. So we're going to wait until we've captured the Eisenrun, and then we'll swap it over. Uh, so in yes, that... My lord. Your thing order, in that Lord. thought process move them out we shall continue. Yes, and um, will you be happy with just those two your, no Ander as well yeah there Lord. you go yes, sit in there right you guys go to Eisenrun and Taking sweep it in a blitzkrieg and take that quickly and then we'll trade it all to Ennard Wythe so with the thought of trading it all to Ennard Wythe in only a few turns destroy everything Remember that Eddard Wythe, if the, depending on how the campaign goes, is likely to become our enemy in due course. So we don't want them having regions that are actually useful to them, and we desperately need money. So as long as these don't rebel on this turn, which they shouldn't do... No, no, that's at 60%. That's, it never rebels on 60%. Uh, it needs to be 50 or lower. So Derwath's in a bit of a risk, but it's not the end of the world. Um, although we could try trading them... No, 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 no. We should wait until we've taken Karas Nernaled. I've mentioned before what Karas Nernaled means, and points to any one of you that can translate that for me. Um, I know what it means, obviously, but uh, <laughs> you can tell me what it means. That's your homework for this one, is what does Karas Nernaled mean? Greetings, noble Oh, ally. yes, please. We aren't trading already. We cannot thank you. Why were we not already training? Proposal, then. Excellent. I do not believe an honor. I, I do pleasure. not believe. Farewell. You believe what you want, mate. <clears throat> Whether you believe it or not is of no concern of mine. That would have benefited our nations. That is a fact. Your opinions do not change that. <laughs> That's an argument that some people make, but of course, what I'm actually doing there is presenting my opinion as a fact and disregarding their opinion. Whereas in truth, we both have opinions of the deal. Rohan only dislike it because the AI is so against military access. They are perpetually prepared for military access to be used to kill them. So they rarely ever go for it. Now, granted, I was giving them access, but it's the same thing. They think you're just going to ambush them by cutting their troops off in your land. So they just never accept it. Granted, they also hate giving map information and we just incre included map information. Well, that's a lot of talking about... Um, well, how have you just lost the Hornberg? Oh. Send an emissary to the Woodland Realm. Where are my emissaries? My He's talking to the Haradrim. Ah, you're heading up up here, aren't you? 
Journeying onward. Constantly getting As blocked, and you're yes, waiting there, which is good because we're going to talk to Enidwife now. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to Enidwife now, isn't it? All right, Eisen run then. My lord. To Isengard with Doom we come, but we're just going to go straight in because I want to do the trade as quickly as possible. Um, and this time we won't just send our generals in to die. <laughs> we'll actually apply Must a modicum of thought men. to the process. We march into battle. The only downside to this swap is that it will mean that Isengard probably won't be defeated. <clears throat> because the three regions that we're giving them, Enidwyth probably won't hold all that well. Um, and so Isengard will likely take them back quite quickly. But I'd much rather stop Enidwyth pursuing their war against Bree in the north um, and try and block their access to Bree and turn their attention to Isengard in general. Because at the moment, the only reason Isengard still lives is because Enidwyth have turned their quite considerable might away from Isengard, whereas they should be turning it toward Isengard. And that's where we come in. We want to try and force their hand. The White City will prevail! You're damn right, sirs. The White City is now held in the hands of those that can see it prevail. Oh, I also was supposed to start this episode off by telling you there is no intro today. Of course, because I didn't have the time to write one. Uh, apologies. First week back at work is a little busy. Uh, so I didn't get time to write one. To write a one. So my apologies to you all. Right, archers. Let's have you come over here. Send them up as well. Javelins, you can come to the walls. And speed it up. Break down the gate for me if you would. You can destroy the gate the gates are down. even when you're... That's interesting. Alright, and then you're all free to fire at will. Um, Adrahil, let's move you up. Oh, I didn't move any of the melee forces up. They're coming for us. They're actually beelining out for our archers. What is... Why do they do this? What is... Why do you want to kill our archers? Well, no, no, I mean, I know why, actually. It makes damned good sense. But it, it makes sense if they actually see it through. But coming out like this is just... It's just going to kill them. They've just cost themselves... So much more than they ever would have done had they not done this. Oh, we just ran over a horse. <laughs> not ran over a horse. We just shot a horse as it ran past. Squires. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Javelins, have you all thrown? No, you guys haven't. Move you a bit closer, then get you to throw. Move you in a bit closer, get you to throw. Wall's gonna fall. Orc defenders wavering. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, so they're dead. They've just completely wasted their time. We're through the enemy's walls. Into the breach and on to victory. Oh, Urukai bodyguards. Yes, please. Pick them off with the last bolts. Move the archers up. You guys will go and get them. Condor militia! We want to try and use every arrow before we step foot on the other side of that wall. I'm not having the same mistake as we've done in the past. Yeah, although I've just moved the ballista way to the archers and things are all standing on top of each other. Oh, that was a good one through the doors. Nice. Archers, move away. Cavalry, let's... Run them down. See, when they step outside their walls, they just give up the only advantage the that they have. Much in our favor. 
50% of them have died and we've lost 1% of ours. Come out of fire at will. Cavalry, how are we going to do? Rukrivers. Poorly is what we're going to do because we've, they're in that weird... Um, when units run along the side of walls, for some reason, cavalry never charges into them properly. And you end up with this. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Where they just sort of don't know whether they're charging or not. And, like, nothing really happens. But those Urk Reavers are dead. How many of the enemies left now? 75%. Right, Cavalry, you can go and finish them off now. We Archers, stop firing. Walls. And... Are we fighting? Oh, hello. We're freezing. Swarm them. Try and get the Haven Guard out. Move the archers closer. The enemy general Reavers are dead. Like the is. enemy general's Press running. And break the spirit of his army. It's over. <clears throat> oh, hang on, what? But the enemy general's there. Pull back out, pull back out, pull back out, pull back out. Right, every archer that we have. Can you target those Urukai bodyguards? Kill as many as you can. Ballister crew? Oh, yes, nice. Good little addition. They're the only unit that would actually really do any damage here, if used properly. Interesting that the enemy general ran. Because this is the enemy general, and I'm not sure how he... Could have ran. He's gonna run now, though. There the he goes. Very much in our favor. All right. Will be ours. Now we shall send Adrahill in alone. Although we can use the Black Group Veils as well. Might as well. You guys come out, you come out, you stop firing. I'm pretty sure you probably just killed some of our own. Adrihill's going in, and the Black Root Vale archers are going in as well. Don't get Adrihill killed. Adrihill is this fellow like here. This, we will smash the enemy. Visuals have changed into the new uh, the bodyguard of the Dunedain. Knights ready! Blackwood Vale, you look cool. Bring those giant swords this way. I have a target for you. Enemy general is dead. That was a fantastically successful attack on this we city. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our men are in command of the city. We're just going to win this one. Oh yes, seventy-five. Seventy-five. That's brilliant. Gondor Militia taking the bulk, Territorial Guardsmen and Amrothian Squires. So the Squires losing 24 is a bit of a bummer. 14 Haven Guard as well, that's a shame. Um, there was a second Grave symbol at the end there. But we'd already killed the General. Please don't tell me that we just got one of the Custom Generals killed at the absolute death. <laughs> and the last seconds of that battle, I think one of our Generals has just died. Please don't be Adriel. Please don't be Adriel. Please don't be Adriel. Please don't be Adriel. Oh no, they did have two generals, didn't we they? Oh, thank goodness. My Lord, our yes, ours all survived. Conquered. Perfect. Right, burn everything to the ground. We're trading it immediately. I don't want Ended Wise really to have any chance to hold it. We might even be able to get a bit of money out of it, actually. If we're going for a two for one trade, which we are. Um, yes, my Lord. Then. Your orders, my lord. My I think lord. we should be able to get a bit of money out of yes, it. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Um, can I not merge you in at all? No. Orders. As you wish. It's yes, better work because we've just pulled the. Oh, Captain Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> all right, Edward White. Let's chat, you and I. What is it you wish to discuss? Map information. No, 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 no. Hold on. No. Eisenrun, Durwath, and Goond. And I would like Matrith. And I'd like Argond. Now that's only a... I think in a two, a three for two is likely to make it... Yeah, balanced. 
Yes. Good to see the pleasure was all ours. We've just given them a poison chalice. Or a white elephant, you might suggest. Argon dislikes us. Matrytho, we can lower the tax rate. So that's problem solved. Ah, welcome to the army's men of Bree. Brilliant. Right, and then that stops Edward northern border with Bree, but it doesn't stop Cor Willishar. That's the problem. I should have tried for Cor Willishar as well. Um, right, and then now we'll move in and just wipe Dunland out, and then that's your lot. Dunland are gone. They return. Yes, to, they become nothing more than roving rebels. Yes. Oh, that's a sizable garrison, engage. though, isn't it? We Chieftain Blythe and Geh. <laughs> Bandits, two battles. I mean, the troops in there are nothing. And we're going to throw the entire army at it. Because once this army has done this, the north is now actually our safest location. After thinking we were going to lose the north, I think actually it's going to endure for quite some time. Because we're positioning ourselves quite nicely. And Angmar don't have the strength to take Gandalf or Amunhen. So we can throw everything we want at this. Did I just saved it, didn't I? I'm saving it again and there's yeah, nothing you can do about it. Doom, doom. There will also be a Battle for Middle Earth video this week and a live stream on Saturday morning um, for the Reunited Kingdom. So do come along to that if you have any questions or you just like to see it live or you want to see me again. It's been so long since we've spoken face to face. You may wish to return to that. I don't blame you. Um, uh, but the Battle for Middle Earth one is likely to be on Sunday because I haven't recorded it yet. And I don't know when it will. It might be tomorrow. So maybe it'll be on Friday instead. Who knows? That's the beauty of the channel. It's anyone's game, isn't it? Guessing game, start to finish. Three Dunedain bodyguards. Glorious. Welcome to the fold. Unfortunately, we've got some sizable cavalry companies. Look, we've got Rondor mercenaries brought all the way with us. That is some doing. Although, actually, why are we that bizarre? We've got Dol Amrothians here, and they've come far further. Right, break the gate down for me, and then we're going to learn from our previous mistakes. And we're going to try and destroy the towers after that. You are attacking the gate, right, guys? Orcish gates fall so much easier than this. How is that gate not down? Reach the enemy's walls. I think at best we're going to get maybe one tower. I'm going to go back to flaming because I think flaming does more damage to towers. Oh, it's woefully inaccurate. I didn't even hit the bloody towers. I mean, these towers don't do as much damage as the big city ones. So it's not as pressing. 10% of the enemies already died just to the Dunedain bodyguards. Well, we're just too far away for them to be properly accurate. That's the problem. All right, take the ballistic crews and duck out of here, guys. Archers, move forward. General's bodyguard, move forward. You're going to be going through first. Horondor mercs are going to go through afterwards because they are so far. We'll never be able to retrain them because they are actual AOR units. Oh, we're getting blasted by their damned siege. Um, all right, we're going to just rush the gate then. Come out of time six and just flood the gate. Flood the gate, flood the gate, flood the gate. Just burst in there and take that space for me. And then we'll charge someone up the hill to get the uh, Ballister crews out. In fact, we'll charge the Haven Guard up the hill if we can. Mercs are in first. I'm not too bothered if we lose a few archers. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Press if in, just press in, like just this, press in. Right, whoever's through first, actually, just go up there and shut down that ballister. There we go. Kill off these clan levies and then the towers will stop shooting at us. Get up there and hit those. Bring up the um, pikes. Archers get a bit closer. General's bodyguard don't have many arrows left, but they might be able to fire something. Move the pikes in. You've claimed the gates. You've claimed the walls. Have faith in the silver tree. Right, you guys are going right. Come this way, my brothers, and run with a bit of haste. Pikes, you can go left. You might as well walk, because you walk really quickly, and then you won't be knackered when you get there. 
And the main line, just plumb your way down the middle. Would you like to see what Harondal mercenaries look like? I'll show you, because they look cool. Harondal mercenaries, here they are. These are unupgraded Harondal mercenaries, which is why they do not match their um, unit cards. There they are. Ah, oh, no, some... Oh, I see. Some are visually like that. Some are visually like that. Oh, that's cool. Always nice to have a bit of variety. Pikes, you're going to go for Brennan's Crab and Guard. Oh, you guys, I thought you were coming over here, but you haven't moved. Don't go that way. Let's not... Let's actually use our brains. Right, Generals, you go this way as well. It says in there. And Archers, can we... Can you actually shoot at the enemy? Like, do you want to get involved today, guys? Your range can't be that bad, surely. Pikes are moving. We'll crush them. We'll sandwich them inside. We've got some Corsair Raiders. Oh, traitorous kin. This battle is very important because it will signal the end of the battle. Dunland. is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Pike line has made its way forward. Now you can move slowly into the enemy there. Guys pushing up the middle will come across a lot of flak. Archers, can you really not shoot? Oh, you have the worst range in the game. Archer Militia standing by. Just anything that you guys can do. Anything at all that even remotely assists would be great. How are we doing over here? Now they are up against a really good unit, so this probably will actually be a loss for them. Because Brennan's Kraban Guard are armor piercing and are the general's bodyguard of Dunland. So those Anfalas are probably gonna die there actually. Um There's no, not really any point just suiciding cavalry into help, is there? Seventeen plays forty five, so we've cut them down to half their strength. They've got another ballister crew over there doing nothing. Let's send one of the generals around to finish them off. Because otherwise they'll just sit there forever doing being a pain in the neck. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Push into them, come on. It's only a warband host. They'll kill off that ballast crew and then they can come from behind, actually. Oh, there are bandits waiting. Oh, they're doing all right. They're doing all right, our Anfalas. They've cut them down to 58. That's not bad. They might even get a cheeky kill on the general, actually, because he's pinned in here. Go on, someone. Just bonk him on the head. He's standing right in front of you. These are getting completely caught up. Look, we're down to 14 Haven Guard. And we're up against this Dunlending Raiders, for crying out loud. Archers standing by. All right, Archers. Come over and help the uh, Anfalas, and then we get the you coming in on that side as well. Will Those guys are done. Move them through. How are we doing on the left? Ah, they're winning. So at least we're going to break through into the slightly more open space of the centre of the city. Oh, that was a brutal burning. Who did we kill there? Those look like Harondor Mercs. The enemy ballister got us good there. <laughs> dear, dear. Craven's guard down to 53. Right, Archers, time to prove your worth. The enemy general lies dead. Yes! Have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. Chieftain Blythe is gone. Only half and it causes remains. them to rout. Cowards. Cowards to the last. We've won on that side. We've won down the middle. It's over for them. We've taken the center. Their only hope now is to try and kill off our general before we win. Oh, Gay's died as well. Geh. Geh is dead. But it looks like this fellow might, might die. In command of the city. Uh, who are you? Are you someone that I sh that we should be worrying about? We've lost control of the city. 
No, I don't think so. The is very much in our favor. Unless the air towers are going to get him, he'll get out alive. How have we lost control of the city? Ah, because of the Saraline Mercs. Move the M plus pikes up. Push them back. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Surround them. All right, with the people behind, that will make short work of that. And that's a nice little victory. A very nice little victory. Only half our force remains. Oh, don't you worry about that, sir. This is the our end of Dunland. Control of the city. Sending the slaughterers of Anvalas down to deal with the final bandits. How cinematic. Personally, I've always preferred just turning the UI off so that you get the full screen. But you have to swap to the minimal UI to do that. And it's a, too much of a faff. Oh, look how many. It's... The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. There are just so many enemy units. <laughs> Oh, not so many. Sorry, no. There's just so much time. Ever since the central the timer was changed to ten field. minutes. It's this is ridiculous. a clear victory. Three hundred and ten. Doing nine bodyguards. Two, four, four. Doing nine bodyguards. One, two, three. Doing nine. Bodyguards. Fantastic work. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, successful victory. That should be the end of Dunland. Their armies will now become rebels and will slowly eke away at our income as they poison all of our regions by just being in them. Which is going to be a nuisance, but better that than them actually attack us. Glory, honour, victory! Dunland's leader is dead. Conquest. And Dunland is dead. Right, now we need to get someone back. So, oh, Hanon is the conqueror of Dunlarak. Well done, sir. We want a general in, well, these three, really. Ideally, we'd want one on Tharbad, but actually we're surrounded by allies at Tharbad, so it's not as important. Karas Nernled hates us, despite having a population of 166 people. This is where Medieval 2's nonsensical systems come into effect. Um, the public order is only at 100%. The garrison is nearly, is over a thousand people. The town has 166 people. Although actually, now that I've said that out loud, you can very easily therefore say, well, of course they've got discontent. Um, they have a village that can accommodate about 500 people and you've moved 1,500 in to live in it. But sadly, whilst that works in this very specific scenario, if I reduced the garrison down, it will not make them like us more. So yes, um, my lord. whilst that we can use that Lord, for now. It doesn't really work when you really dig down into it or drill down into it. Right, we want a larger garrison at Tharbad because that is the power in these lands. Um, but we also want to keep people on the borders. So what I'm going to do is run a couple of cav down to Argond. Yes. Oh, they might get picked off by those rebels, actually. You're going to stay with Amandir, the pikes, those archers the siege them i'm going to take those take those take those and those I i'll leave you with those actually orders. and the rest of that and you're all going to go to tharbad yes my lord your orders my lord all right that's the end of dunland north secure angmar moving in on us as always but gandalf will kill them that your best shot? they've got nothing against gandalf we're down to fifty-seven thousand gold coins in the negative now did i end the turn actually Yes, yes, we did. My lord. Does Denethor make as much money as someone commented? With honor. Oh, holy hell. Yes, he does. Yeah, so Denethor's going to stay in Minas Tirith because he apparently is an economic genius. One turn on that. They didn't attack at the gate because they aren't strong enough Your to take on the two lord. armies we have there. And once more yes, Finian wins, I'm just going to siege Gelebrin. I'm just going to leave it at a siege. We're not going to do anything else. Um, but that's got most of that in good order. 
Can did take our bait, which is brilliant. So those nine Amrothian skies are going to give up their life so that the rest of us might live. Give off, give up of life so that we Your may orders, live in their stead. Yes, my lord. Now, what to do with Adrihil? Maybe we should just press on, actually. He's got a strong enough army to probably take Isengard. And then we could just camp it. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Stand on the bridge till now, and Your then we'll move Arndir order. up. We'll join yes, Arndir into the army because he Your is actually orders, a useful unit. And then we'll yes, just push for Isengard, I think. And then we'll sit in there and say, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. We are turning Enidwyth into something of an absolute powerhouse. But we're building strength around them, so that's all right. But for now, that's going to end episode number two. So do stay tuned, as I say. Hopefully Battle for Middle-earth will be before the weekend. But if not, we'll see where we are. Uh, and then there'll be a live stream at the weekend. And then... Um, that's all I'm going to say for now. I will do the Warhammer 3 videos when I can, but that's looking to be sort of early February. We don't get the access to the game till like the start of February. Um, and then I can't post the videos till certain days, which is very common with early access stuff. So those videos won't come out till mid-Feb anyway. But um, ideally between now and then, then I'll try and do some Age of Empires stuff. And, and uh, that may come to you, hopefully. But until we speak again in the next video that will come, have a wonderful little week, have a smashing day, and a and melonine, and farewell.